This is News Today with WDW News Today. I'm Eric Morton of WDWNT.com, uh, filling in for Tom Corliss, who is on his way back from Disneyland Paris, but heading straight to the Disney Wish. So here are the top Disney Park stories from around the world for July 18th, 2022. After the complete demolition of the Spirit of Aloha building at Disney's Polynesian Resort, the rubble has been removed from the site and all that remains is dirt and some construction vehicles. The site is surrounded by green scrim fencing, but it's fully visible from the Walt Disney World monorail system. As we previously reported, the site will soon be home to new Disney Vacation Club villas scheduled to open in late 2024. The 2022 Epcot International Food and Wine Festival is underway, and we have compiled a full guide of everything that you need to know to plan your visit. From reviews of every uh, menu at every global marketplace to all the merchandise and activities, you can find it all on our site. The best way to make sure you hit everything is to pick up a complimentary festival passport when you enter Epcot. Inside, you'll find more information about the activities and the global marketplace. It's also a fun, free souvenir. There are around 30 global marketplace food and beverage booths this year. And of course, don't forget to play Emile's Fromage Montage or check out the Eat to the Beat concert series. You can also watch a video of us reviewing every new food item uh, this year right here on our channel. Run Disney has unveiled this year's medals for participants in the Wine and Dine Half Marathon on November 4th through 6th. Uh, the celebration occurs during the Walt Disney World 50th anniversary in the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. The 5K medal is inspired by Coco to celebrate the Mexico Pavilion on a 3.1 mile course. The 10K medal shows the completion of a 6.2 mile course, which takes inspiration from Raya and the Last Dragon with stories of Southeast Asia that guests will find throughout the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. Runners completing the 13.1 mile course, or, you know, the entire half marathon, will take home uh, inspiration from Disney and Pixar's Soul. The backside of this medal celebrates the world's most magical celebration, reading, I did it, with bragging rights. The locket design medal is saved for those completing, well, 19.3 miles, which is uh, the uh, two-course challenge combined. The genie appears inside this medal, granting wishes and rewarding participants with this prestigious challenge medal. You can also still register for Run Disney for the virtual race. A new plate set featuring artwork by Kevin and Jody has joined the 50th anniversary vault collection at Walt Disney World. And we found these plates at the Main Street Cinema in the Magic Kingdom. The plates are mainly white, and then each design is inspired by a different classic Magic Kingdom attraction. Uh, first up, we have uh, one of the green design featuring an evil queen knocking a giant gemstone down towards the uh, guests riding the now defunct Snow White's Scary Adventures. Another design is pink with guests spinning on teacups at Mad Tea Party. A third design is green and blue inspired by Peter Pan's flight. Uh, guests are in a pirate ship and they're flying above Neverland. The final and of course most important plate has a purple and red design of guests crashing through the sadly defunct Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. The set costs $55. We took a peek at the wondrous and delicate world of crystal arts by Rebus Brothers at Disney Springs recently and spotted a couple new 50th anniversary items. Uh, first of all, there's the 50th anniversary Minnie Mouse glass coin. Uh, the coin says Walt Disney World 50 under Minnie's face and Cinderella Castle is behind her. The coin sells for $29. Next up is the 50th anniversary beer glass. These are double layer glass, which leaves a gap at the base and allows for insulation. The glass has the 50th anniversary logo of Cinderella Castle engraved on one side, along with the phrase, the world's most magical celebration. The beer glass sells for $14. Fans of the ganachery and his delicious chocolate <laughs> over at Disney Springs can now bring home a corksicle mug themed to the chocolatier. We've had many a delicious treat from here, from Mighty Thor's hammer and Baymax s'mores to boozy Easter bunnies, so we were quite pleased with this find. The mugs feature a faux wood pattern on top, and early 20th century style design reads, Chocolate is good medicine, with the ganacheries word mark below. The other side shows the corksicle word mark. We found this, of all places, well, at the ganachery in Disney Springs. 
News today is brought to you by the Sunshine Flyer, the new 1920s rail-themed transportation from Orlando International Airport to Walt Disney World Resorts. Start your vacation experience as soon as you step off the plane with motor coaches that create the atmosphere of old-fashioned passenger cars. No two vehicle designs are the same, and just in time for the summer, kids ride free. If you book your trip now through July 31st, you can enjoy uh, free tickets for kids and reduce pricing for adults. Tickets do not need to be used during this time frame. To reserve, visit sunshineflyer.com. The full version of the Festival of Lion King finally returned to Disney's Animal Kingdom over the weekend, and we were, of course, while well, we were there to, to bring you the whole show. With the return of the full-length show comes the aerial dancer and the fan favorite, Tumble Monkeys. The Festival of Lion King is found in Harambe Theater uh, since May of 2021. A shortened, modified version of the show called A Celebration of Festival of Lion King had been performed there. Uh, show times are subject to change, but can be found on the outside the theater. The Walt Disney World website also has that information as well as the My Disney Experience app. The Tumble Monkeys are talented acrobats who perform a comedic routine and of course really know how to ham it up for the crowd. Another returning act is that aerial dancer. The aerial bird works in coordination with the ground performers and is just lovely. Overall, there are still fewer dancers than before, but we expect that to be a permanent budget cut. You can watch our full video of the Festival of Liking right here on our YouTube channel. If you're hoping to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Disneyland Paris, but you can't make it to Paris, well, Epcot has you covered. A Lounge Fly mini backpack and Spirit jersey have joined the 30th anniversary ear headband, part of the sparkling collection, the France Pavilion. The collection has that lounge fly mini backpack for $95. The spirit jersey is $79.95. And of course, that ear headband can be yours for $39.99. Eagle-eyed guests may have noticed a new sign hanging outside the Main Street confectionery. Uh, the sign has been updated to advertise the sponsor, Mars. The sign still has its blue border covered with light bulbs and hangs above one of the entrances. However, it now has a golden brown peanut butter cup with a blue banner on top with the words Main Street Confectionery and the home of Mars candy treats. The background is off-white with gold decorations. There are colorful candy dots all over the sign. You may remember the Mars brand was added to the windows of the confectionery back in September of last year. The Grooven Alps are back at Epcot in World Showcase. Uh, the trio is a German percussion band. And they use spoons to ignite the beat. Uh, you can grab a snack from the Germany booth and sit to watch the show right there outside the German pavilion. Uh, the Alps booth is also nearby if you're craving some of that cheesy, cheesy goodness there. Uh, Showtimes can vary, but you can check the My Disney Experience app for up-to-date information. The boys in uh, later Hosen use a wide variety of musical instruments, uh, some of them kind of unusual. Uh, they carry a clicking, ticking, bonking tune. They use everything from drums to ladders to wooden spoons, pots, pans, saucepans, and kettles to make a wide variety of sounds, and their acting makes the show a lot of fun. We are thrilled to see more entertainment back at Epcot, which is good news because <laughs> you can also Check out Atlas Fusion, who, back in, who are back in Morocco. Atlas Fusion is Moroccan music and belly dancing act. Guests are invited to join in on the fun as the belly dancer will step off the stage and teach the crowd a few moves. Both of these shows are available right here on our channel. The meet and greets are back at Star Wars Launch Bay in Disney's Hollywood Studios. We recently stopped by to meet our buddy, BB-8. BB-8 spins his chassis and moves his head around, beeping and whirring in response. But he doesn't leave his base. We previously reported the meet and greets are also back for Darth Vader and Chewbacca. Those soft opened last week. Uh, this means, though, that there are now three characters available at Star Wars Launch Bay. The meet and greets are usually open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., but it's best to check the times in the My Disney Experience app when planning your visit and when you arrive at the park for the day as unexpected changes can occur. Of course, we also have those meet and greets available to, to watch here on our channel. Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind has been open at Epcot for almost two months, but a new dedication plaque was recently added to the courtyard. It can be found in front of the Star Blaster. The dedication plaque reads, from our world to yours, the Star Blaster is presented as a gift from the Nova Corps to the people of Terra. May it, like Epcot, 
serve to inspire peace through understanding. The Zandarian on the bottom of the plaque also reads, Peace Through Understanding. Uh, it was dedicated in the Terran year of 2022 and is signed by Nova Prime, Irani Rael. Now let's go across the pond to Paris and talk about Avengers Campus at, at Walt Disney Studios Park for a little bit, where our own Tom Corliss has been looking into every detail. First up, we've got a full menu review of the Stark Factory restaurant for you. The centerpiece of the factory dining room is the Hulk Buster. It sits in front of the counters and is contained in a yellow framework. Tony Stark didn't clean the, whole, didn't clean the Hulk Buster up for us. Uh, it has scratches and dents and even some exposed wiring. The restaurant is littered with artifacts, schematics, and all sorts of detail that Marvel fans should find interesting. Uh, though some sliding doors reveal another dining room resembling the SSR office. A note on the doors reads, Cap, this is the secret room I was talking about. Figure you should get to decide what to do with it. From Tony. It's good to know that there's a, there's a Tony with maybe a good restaurant at a Disney property. Uh, this room has green walls with wood paneling along the bottom. There are maps, blueprints, and shelving on the walls. In one corner is Peggy Carter's desk in Howard Stark's Captain America collection. You can see a number of pictures on our site. As for the food, um, well, stay tuned. We're going to be releasing a comprehensive food review here on this channel featuring our very own Tom Corliss. Apparently, he ate everything. Next up, over there at the Avengers Campus, there are several character experiences. You can, you can meet Captain Marvel, Thor, and Loki. There's even a Guardians of the Galaxy dance-off. Face characters are everywhere, and we have several videos of them right here on our channel. Avengers Campus also includes two new attractions. First up is the Avengers Assemble Flight Force roller coaster. Uh, this new attraction, which replaced rock and roller coaster Avec Aerosmith, features the new Iron Man animatronic. Uh, he introduces guests to the premise of the attraction, well, mostly in French. Uh, no, Robert Downey Jr. is not uh, here, sadly, for this. But since it is a reskin of rock and roller coaster Avec Aerosmith, we can see the exact same cars are in use, just with a slightly different paint job. The Paris version of Web Slingers, a Spider-Man adventure, is a Spider-Man web adventure. It's a clone of the Disney California uh, adventure version. The Worldwide Engineering Brigade, or Web, building is very expansive. The facade is designed to look like the brigade took over an old Stark Motors facility. The brick and steel are representative of the leftover factory building, while the sleek red and gray scale additions were adapted from the Avengers campus. An old Stark Motors ad can be seen advertising the company was taking cars to new heights, like the prototype flying car Howard Stark shows off in Captain America, the first Avenger. A number of other posters are also available, all with lots of Marvel references. These can be found both in the indoor and outdoor portions of, portions of the queue. Uh, you can check out the full exterior queue and POV rides of both attractions right here on our channel. Mickey Rooney Jr. passed away this week at 77 years old. He and his brother Tim Rooney, who passed away in 2006, were original Mouseketeers on the Mickey Mouse Club. Fellow Mouseketeer and founder of A Minor Consideration, an advocacy group for former child stars, Paul Peterson shared the following statement. Mickey Rooney Jr. peacefully passed away this morning in Arizona. For the past many years, he lived with and was in care of Chrissy Brown and her family. I first met Mickey, the oldest of nine siblings, sired by his famous father uh, when he and Timmy were hired by Disney to be Mouseketeers in 1955. Mickey Jr. was tall and talented. He could sing, dance, and act, and get in trouble. We three were fired for conduct unbecoming a mouse. Mickey Jr. was the personification of damaged goods. He gave all he could. I was born on the same day as Mickey's father, and the Mick gave me unsolicited, mind you, the most useful advice I ever got. It is one of my greatest sorrows that he didn't do the same for his son. Mickey Rooney Jr., rest in peace at last. We will see to your wishes. Our thoughts are with his family and friends. For the absolute latest Disney Parks news, head on over to WDWNT.com and follow us on your favorite social media platforms. 
This program is brought to you by our official travel agent sponsor, The Vacationeer, the engineers of your next magical vacation. Sit back and let their team of vacation planning experts craft your family's next magical Disney trip. The best part is that their services are free. Visit www.nt.travel for details. You can support the entire team behind this show and others by joining the WDWNT Inner Globe Society at patreon.com slash WDWNT. Get access to exclusive content, uh, discounted show and event tickets, and more. A special shout out to all the WIGS members watching who make this show happen every week. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to WDW News Today on YouTube for more content, click the bell for notifications, and hit select all notifications so that you never miss an episode of News Today with WDW News Today. For the worldwide leader in Disney Parks news, this is Eric Morton saying, enjoy the rest of your today and have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Welcome to Disney Entertainment News Today from WDW News Today. I'm Rob Whiteside from WDWNT.com, and here now are the top Disney Entertainment stories. For the latest in Disney Entertainment news, watch Disney Entertainment News Today, hosted by Rob Whiteside. From movies and series news to stage shows, books, video games, and more, new episodes drop every Tuesday on Unplanned Downtime.